My friends, fall is here. And fashion wise, it is my favorite time of the year in terms of dressing, putting outfits together. I just love everything fall, the crispness in the air, the changing colors of leaves, no more excessive sweating all over our body. <laughs> now I know that fall looks a little bit different depending on where you are in the world, but in general for myself and where I live, these first few months of fall just mean colder weather. We're adding on the layers, hopefully transitioning a lot of our pieces from the summer and trickling it into the fall. And in BC, it sadly just means a lot of rain as well. But it's that lovely little sweet spot in the weather where it's cold enough to wear layers and sweaters, but it's just not not quite to winter yet. So I'm a big fan of fall and I'm a big fan of fall fashion. So I wanted to bring to you today a little chat. We're gonna be switching up the wardrobe in preparation for the fall season. I wanted to show you some of the things that are new in in my closet. I wanna talk about some fall trends. What are the staples that we're bringing out from years prior and what are we not wearing this season? And hopefully by the time this video is done, we will all be a little bit more prepared for embracing fall fashion. So I've got my lovely little list and my friends, let's talk fall. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the fall clothing trends because even though I'm not the most fashionable gal on the planet, I do love to look. I love to watch trend videos. I love to see what's coming out on the runway. I love to see what people are wearing for the season and kind of see what I can incorporate in my own closet. If a particular trend speaks to me, how I can kind of embrace certain trends. Or I also just love to see when certain trends make a comeback and how those trends of our past might be reinvented. I think it's just very exciting. It's very inspiring. I love to get a lot of outfit inspo and just generally stock Instagram and Pinterest at this time of year when the seasons are changing. So let's start with the colors for the season. Now, people who are much more fashionable and involved than myself have been reporting on the continuation of pink, bright fuchsia, pink, all the colors of pink have made such a huge stamp on the clothing world this year in general. And it's continued to trickle into fall. Not really something that I necessarily <laughs> want to be involved in. Pink isn't necessarily like a go-to color in my wardrobe in general, but especially not for fall. I really do like to embrace those like darker colors, especially when it comes to my makeup. I love the more earthy tones. That's just more my thing, but I also love that people are embracing a lot more color in their wardrobe in general. So the whole pink trend is not necessarily gonna be for me. However, the other color that continues to just make a splash and a statement in the clothing world is green. And I'm so thrilled about it because I just really, <laughs> I embraced green as a statement color in my wardrobe. And I like that you can play with a ton of different tones of green. You've got the really bright, loud neon greens, but then you also have the much more deeper, darker, earthier tones of green. And it just looks like green is here to stay and I am not mad about it. There's a lot of pieces that I'm bringing back out of my wardrobe from the spring and also from fall last year that I'm gonna continue wearing for this fall. And I also like that I can kind of rework a few of my like brighter pieces and accessories from the summer and keep wearing those to just brighten up the darker tones of my like fall neutrals. So if you're a lover of color, don't be afraid to continue mixing those pieces into your neutral everyday staples. And this fall in particular, green is just gonna continue to be my color focus and the shade that I'm gonna be going to. So throughout the fall season, the weather can be super up and down. So that's why it's really important to have kind of layering options, especially if it's more warm during the day, you still wanna be keeping those like summer tank tops and body suits rolling out in the wardrobe. But when it gets a little bit more chilly in the mornings and the evenings, you wanna be having those sweaters to layer up. And in previous years, the last couple of years, I have been super into like the mega oversized sweater. There was like all my turtlenecks at one point were just these like giant, as big as I could get them. I was just really into the oversized sweater. And over the last few years, we've seen a lot more of the like cropped style turtlenecks. We've seen these kind of like micro cardigans, crop sweaters, crop turtlenecks, and they continue to roll out and it continues to kind of be a trend if you will. But I just think that anything goes when it comes to sweaters. You can like really embrace like the crop sweater, but you can also love the oversized look and I like that the options for both continue to be available because I do love to swim in a good oversized grandma cardigan but I also love a crop sweater moment so there's a lot of pieces especially in the knitwear category that I've already had in my closet that I'm just so happy with and I'm just so excited to be bringing out for the colder weather but I have picked up a couple new in pieces that I'm really excited about the first one is this stunning cropped turtleneck from H&M it's a bit more of a thick chunkier knit so it's probably going to be getting a lot more wear from me going into the winter season Season, but I wanted to mention it now just in case you were looking to add a kind of like cropped turtleneck style to your wardrobe. I absolutely love this. The quality is stunning. And it's just that really perfect, like,
like kind of in between oatmeal gray shade that'll just go with absolutely everything. I'm really, really excited to wear this this season and going into winter as well. And another style of sweater that I've been so happy has continued to just like exist everywhere. I feel like the half zip sweater has been very, very in. I have a beautiful half zip sweater that I got last year from Everlane that I'm absolutely gonna be pulling out for the fall. That's kind of like my perfect in between neutral. But I also got these beautiful kind of more casual pieces from H&M. They have a ton of colors that they brought out for the fall and I did get a gray and a black one and just really, I just think they're the perfect casual layering sweater for the fall, especially this like lighter cotton material. I can layer it up over a tank top. I can have the zipper open if I want it to be a little bit more breezy or I can zip it up if I get chilly. And I just, I, I just love that the half zip is here to stay. And those are the two that I picked up for the fall season. Now for cardigans, I don't really have any on my wish list. I have the few of my staples in my closet that I'm really happy with. I have the perfect, like just nice fitted option from Everlane last year, a beautiful black one. And then I also have a really gorgeous piece from H&M. H&M like really just does a really good job on cardigans come the fall winter season. So I'm just gonna continue pulling those back out. And that will probably be my absolute go-to every day for the fall and winter. Love a good cardigan, cropped, fitted, oversized, what have you. We love a cardigan. Moving on to jackets and coats. This is something that always breaks my heart come like spring and going into the summer. I always get really sad putting my jackets and coats away. I am such a coat gal, wool coats, trench coats, jackets. Like I'm here for it. I am obsessed and get so excited when I can pull them back out again. So I have my classic staple trench coats. I have my black vintage Burberry trench coat that I've had for a few years. I also have this gorgeous light beige one from Nilly Lotan and that kind of just never needs to be updated. It's a classic piece and a staple that's always in my wardrobe. For my little fun pop of color, I actually have my green faux leather trench coat that I got from Naked Fashion last year. That's kind of just gonna be that you know, fun pop of green color in my <laughs> wardrobe. And then in terms of like trends and what we're seeing with jackets, I feel like a lot of people are talking about the bomber jacket making a big comeback. I'm not really into the whole bomber jacket style, like the kind of those like collegiate style jackets, the bomber jackets. It's just not really a style I am caring to embrace at this moment. However, I'm very, very much into the classic tweed, like little cropped style jacket. I'm obsessed with those. I have two from Anina Bing that I got both in the spring of this year. Year, and I'm so excited to be able to bring those back out and wear them for fall. I don't think that that style ever went away, but it's just a style that I very much embrace this year and will absolutely be wearing all fall and winter long, layering them up for as long as I can. <laughs> and another jacket that I really just wanna like brush the dust off is my denim jacket. I have had this denim jacket from Topshop for years. It's actually one of the older pieces in my wardrobe. And it's usually something that I bring out in the summertime, but it was actually just really hot this summer and I didn't touch my jacket at all. I didn't pull it out of my closet once and I just really wanna make a point to just embrace my denim jacket. Now every fall winter when it comes to jackets, I feel like it's a given that people pull out their leather jackets. I feel like that's a style that has just always been at the forefront of fall and winter fashion. It's always been, even in my own like staples videos, whenever I've talked about staple pieces that I have in my closet, I always refer to my leather jacket, but I don't actually currently have a leather jacket or like the classic moto style leather jacket in my closet. However, that being said, I do have a, spe a very specific style of leather jacket that's on my wish list that I'm gonna be on the hunt for. I just really love that kind of, I almost wanna call it like a dad jacket. I don't know what the proper terminology is for it, but not so much that like fitted moto style leather jacket, but I'm really wanting to find like a good oversized, more like vintage kind of lived in feel jacket. That is the style that I have my eyes on and I'm very much into that. If you wanna call it like a new trendy piece, just that like oversized version of a classic leather jacket is what, I am, is what I'm into, I'm feeling that. Let's move on to the bottom half of our body. And obviously I'm going to start with jeans. Now, if you watched my most worn summer clothing video, you'll know that I just have really been obsessed with the whole 90s baggy jean that has just made such a huge comeback this year. Typically during the summer, I would put my long pants away, my long jeans away and really embrace the shorts. But this year the jeans just, they just didn't go away. I just wore my jeans all summer long and I'm continuing on that love for the 90s baggy jean. I really love that that whole like Y2K baggy comfortable jean continues to make a splash in the fashion world because I just love to be comfortable. And what I love so so much about like these specific H&M 90s baggy jeans that I have been obsessed with is they're just, they're actually so comfortable to wear. Sometimes you wear jeans like for the fashion. You don't necessarily wear them for comfort, but for me, I like to be comfortable in my jeans. I like them to have a little bit of a stretch and these ones in particular just, <laughs> they feel like you're wearing sweatpants. They're so good and I'm absolutely keeping them in my fall and winter wardrobe and just kind of embracing that like, 
baggy over the boot style instead of going back to like the more cropped skinnier jean for the fall you know i'm gonna i'm gonna keep the baggy jeans rolling last year especially in the fall i was really just here for like the high boots the cowboy boots wearing those with the skirts and in general like in the roller recent years i've added skirts more to my wardrobe that's become a staple piece in my closet uh but i'm really loving like the denim maxi skirt the kind of full denim like the canadian tuxedo vibes now am i sprinting to purchase a denim maxi skirt no uh, i i like it i like it on people i like how people style it i think it looks nice it's not something i'm adding to my wardrobe i'm gonna keep with like my long silk skirts that i've already got going on but I will say there was one skirt in particular that has made me like drool and I'm considering it. I'm still on the fence, but I'm very much considering it. It was the Helsa line that the model Elsa did with Revolve. She came out with a blue version and a cream version and the cream one, I'm like, oh damn. I'm trying to decide how much I would actually get wear out of it in my closet because I do think it's something that I could wear all year round depending on like the footwear and the top that you match with it. But I didn't think that I was gonna be buying that like denim or cargo style maxi skirt until I saw that skirt. So you can let me know. I've added myself on the wait list. It's currently out of stock, but I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on the whole denim cargo maxi skirt trend that's just having a push right now. What are your guys' thoughts? And speaking of the styling of said skirts, let's talk about high boots because I feel like every fall winter, I feel like each year a different kind of variation of the boot becomes super popular. Like I remember when the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots, everybody on YouTube and Instagram was talking about those. I even bought it, but for the most part, those over the knee boots don't really fit over my <laughs> legs. <laughs> the sizing just isn't uh, one with my body for the most part. However, I do love the tall boots in general. So I'm not specifically going with the over the knee boot thing, but the tall boots, high boots, absolutely pulling those out for fall. And I have two pairs that I already have in my closet. I have an old pair from Zara that I've already pulled out. I brought it to New York, absolutely love them. They're a little bit more of a dressier version with a higher heel, absolutely love those. And then I also have a more like cowboy style pair and I have no other boots on my wish list. I am so happy with those. They're just boots that I continue to get so much wear out of uh, specifically in the fall season. But I personally think that no matter where the trends go, the high boots are always a staple for me and I, I love to wear it and it's a style that I love and I'm absolutely continuing to wear those this fall season. Now as for the rest of my boots, love that the big chunky like military style boot continues to be a thing. That's not really a style that I pull out so much in the fall. That's more of a winter piece for me, especially because we get a lot of rain and then last year specifically actually BC got a lot of snow. It's just a little bit necessary because you need the traction. <laughs> you need the chunky boot to be able to walk in the snow. So that's that's more of a winter piece for me. But in general, like the classic booty has kind of been out for me for the last few years. Ever since I got my beautiful totem kitten heel boots, I just love them so much. And I, I just find myself not able to wear much else. Like that's just been my go-to boot. There's a ton of more affordable options that continue to come out. H&M specifically seems to come out with amazing pairs every year. So I'll link a few dupes in the description box down below. I'll go on a little hunt for them, but yeah, just sticking with a good old classic black boot. <laughs> So a huge trendy piece that has been making such a comeback, like especially if you're scrolling through the Instagram feed, if you follow any fashion influencers, you have absolutely seen the ballet flats. People have been going crazy about the ballet flats. I've never been a really big flats person in general. I really was like desperate to find my perfect pair of loafers, which still technically hasn't happened for me. But I was really surprised about this like huge resurgence of the ballet flat and specifically those like little mouse looking ones with the little bow. It's just not a style I'm super into. However, I was very curious to dip my toes into the flats world. I've been seeing so many people styling them and I'm obsessed with how it looks like a particular style of flat anyway. I don't really like the bow one, but all the power to you. I have actually found a pair, I've ordered them. They're not here yet, but I'm curious to see how it goes. I'm curious to see how I'm going to do with flats. I think it's always very inspiring when an older trend comes back. And I love to see how people interpret that and style it. So I have been inspired. I have fallen into this little ballet flat trend that has made it come back. So we'll just have to see. I'll keep you guys posted. Curious to know your thoughts on the flats. And I know that at the same time, there's a lot of people who are like, what are you talking about? These 
these flats never went out of style. These have always been here. But as soon as my order comes in, I'll keep you guys posted on how I fare with the flats and would love to hear your thoughts in the meantime. As for the rest of the shoe category from summer going into fall, it's just the time where I very sadly put my sandals away and kind of bring out the boots and also bring out the sneakers. I have a few pairs of just like classic go-to sneakers that I always have on hand year round, but specifically in the last year, I was really determined to make myself a Converse girl and that's gonna continue this fall and winter. I am absolutely determined to style and wear the heck out of my beautiful Converse. I am such a convert to the Converse world and specifically like the Chuck 70s. They are so comfortable. It's not the regular like very flat uncomfortable Converse that I wore in high school that gave me lots of blisters. This one is like super, super padded. It's got a really nice thick padded insole and it's so comfortable and they're perfect for every day. And I really didn't wear my Converse a lot over the summer. It was a little bit too hot. I just don't like to be like so sweaty and tied in for my feet, but coming into fall, absolutely pulling the Converse back out. And that's absolutely gonna be an everyday staple for me for the shoes for sure. And as for the rest of the fall wardrobe, obviously gonna be pulling out my blazers and that pretty much covers it for me because I'm a, I'm a blazer gal. I have no blazers on my wish list. I am absolutely covered. I really wanna make an effort Effort to wear what I have in my closet, especially when it comes to my blazers. And I'm really happy with the collection that I have. And then I also briefly want to talk about my vest because that's something that I wore like all of last winter. It's not necessarily something that I showed on YouTube or like have many photos of. And specifically the puffer vests are a little bit more of a winter layering piece for me, but just in case we get some really crisp, cool days, I thought it would be worth noting that I really love the vest life. You'll be seeing more of that probably in the winter, but I think it's worth noting that I have pulled them out of the archives for the fall as well. And I think that that pretty much covers it. Guys, those are a few of the things that I am pulling out for the fall, a few of the trends that I'm embracing, a few new in pieces, and just a few old favorite staples of note that I wanted to mention. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. And I hope that you're as excited for fall fashion as I am. You guys, thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. I will see you all very, very soon for a new one.